Hey guys, it's Brooke with The Junk Parlor. I am going to show you 10 of my favorite things in the store right now. Now, some of them are listed on my website and I will put that link in the description. And then some of them, you just need to shoot me a message and we can work it out. I'll walk you through how to purchase with me and it is painless, trust me, super easy peasy. So let's get started. Okay, one of the items that I grabbed was this blue enamel um, bent pan, angel food cake pan, whatever you wanna call it. Someone has added a little wire here so you could just go ahead and hang it on your wall and have this displayed out. It could make a wreath. You could put it in your kitchen um, on the wall or you could set it out and you could fill it with, uh, put a candle here in the middle and then put some greenery around the edge, depending on what time of the year is. You could switch it out with succulents or evergreens. Um, you could do a whole collection of cookie cutters in here. You could do a little um, mason jar and put in there and then put some wooden spoons in it, roll up some towels or um, some, dish soap and you could put a whole little thing by your sink of all of your supplies for dishwashing. So there are tons and tons and tons of different ideas that you can do with that. But I am a blue and green lover, so I am always going to be picking blue and green stuff. Now, this little enamel bowl, I did pick two things that are enamel. This little colander is super cute as well. The yellow with the green. I love having these on my counter. I don't use them as a strainer. I would use it to put apples in here or some other produce in here just to set it out on the counter. I think that would look really cute. If you have like a little pegboard or anything hanging on the back of your um, counters, like where your backsplash is, you could always hang it up and have it displayed that way as well. So use it as a bowl, hang it up, Either way, super cute. And this is a great size to set on top of a vintage scale. Um, it's just a great proportion. So loving the yellow and green colander. Okay, then what did I say? I love green and I love thinking outside of the box. So what we have here is a high chair. Um, what would you even call it? A table, high chair, table but it is rusty crusty so i'm the little baby and here it is you can repurpose i'm almost too wide for that you can repurpose this so many different ways you could use the front side or the back side they both have some good chippiness to them you could turn this into a sign so you could put eat kitchen love you could do a little simply said or cut something out on your cricut and put that in there. You could also put this up on your mantle or a ledge and have layering. So layering in your vignettes and your displays, in your laying out your knickknacks, that is very, very important. So you could stand it up, you could turn it on its side, or you could put it this way as well. If we did it this way, I could also tie some twine from each side and kind of make a little clothesline. I could pin a little um, vintage doll dress. I could pin um, a music sheet or multiple music sheets that I have um, maybe written something on or layer a picture in front of a music sheet and clip that up there. And then whatever I'm setting down here in front of it, this is just kind of creating a backdrop. So tons of options on um, something like that, that piece from a high chair, whatever it's technically called. Okay, then we have these little Dundee jars, marmalade pots. I actually found my first one ever um, last month, I think, maybe, maybe it was October, and I found another one. This one, however, does not have a label on it, and it is a lot wider, so I don't know if it's made out of something different, um, but it's a cute little size, awesome little shape, and it has the mauling stamp there on the bottom. So you could just set this out as it is, use it as a little vase. I also like when things have a wide opening, you can set things on them, a croquet ball, a pool ball, a bird's nest. Um, so you can definitely think outside of the box on things that you set on top of something like that. White, you can never go wrong with white. 
Speaking of white, we have this little, I don't know if it's technically, because remember, this is not my specialty. <laughs> I don't know if it's technically um, a biscuit uh, bowl or if it's a very large sugar dish, but it is ironstone. It's super cute. It has the lid, although the lid has a little like crack on it. It looks like this ball part top thing has popped off at some point. Um, but the shape is cute. It is even cute if you take the lid off and you can use this to put maybe some peacock feathers. You could do some pheasant feathers. You could do some bamboo sticks, um, green, greenery, put a plant in it, some bulbs. But this one, um, ironstone is always going to be uh, popular. Okay, the next thing that I picked um, I have always kind of wanted or hoarded or been attracted to Bibles. Um, this is the current little stack that I have right now. The rest of them are very large. Um, some of these I think are listed over on the website, um, but some of them, most of them are not. Um, but I just love when you can do a little stack and how I had these on display was with some little baby shoes on top and I probably can't hold it and balance at the same time, but I had them uh, positioned like this, and it's gonna hold for a second. So Bibles and Bible stacked, definitely um, something that I'm drawn to in the shop right now. And then also baby shoes. I am really, really liking this Spanish moss. I know it's not for everyone, it is kind of, um, you know, more neutral and dark. So if you like to decorate with bright stuff, then this is probably not going to be up your alley. But these little baby shoes are super cute with this. For the seasons, you can put little bottle brush trees in here. You can put pumpkins on here. You can do, um, take the Spanish moss out and put succulents in it. So these are very, um, designer friendly, user friendly on having a creative display. I'm just gonna let it fall. Creative display in your house. The other big thing is vintage trucks. So super popular. They always have been, I think they always will be. The men like them because they collect them and the women like them because they can fill the back ends and make them look cute. Set them on the kitchen counter, set them on your table anywhere where you have a flat surface. Um, you could put this on your coffee table and put you keep your remotes in it. Um, you can do a whole little display of books. If it's Valentine's Day, you could put flower frogs or something so you can stand up some Valentine's back here, do a little Cupid doll. Uh, Christmas, of course, you could do bottle brush trees back here, your little snowman uh, display. Spring, you can do succulents. You could do a little bunny in here for Easter or put some green grass in here with some little um, faux eggs. Super cute. So these little vintage trucks, not only are they collectibles and awesome by themselves, but they're also great for vintage decor. And then our last thing for my favorite things in the store right now, you're always going to have me picking a piece of architectural salvage. So something like this, you can see that some of the spots have come off the appliques, but it doesn't matter. If you like the wood look, I really do. You could leave it as it is, but you could of course paint this as well. Some other options are adding a couple of coat hooks if you want to. You could put that in your mudroom and have your kids put their coats and backpacks on it. I like doing things like that at my house. Each person has a designated hook, a designated locker, a designated basket. Everything in our mudroom is designated so that it's supposed to help the kids put their things up where they belong instead of just on the floor. But we know how that goes. But this would look great in a bathroom too for your towels with a coat hook on it. But then also you can hang this above your door, your window, on your gallery wall. So, so many options on, on doing a piece of architectural salvage like this. So those are my favorite things, 10 favorite things in the store right now. And like I mentioned, some of them are listed on the website and I'll put the link in the description. But of course, if you like what you're seeing, please make sure to 
like the video and then go ahead and subscribe. So if you want to purchase anything that is not on the website, leave a comment below and I will get you taken care of.